What's up guys? So I recently watched A Clockwork Orange and I really need to talk about this with somebody. So I am here today to review what is supposedly one of the classics of cinema history. If you have seen this movie before, then I'm curious to know what you thought of the film. And if you haven't seen A Clockwork Orange, then hear me out for the next few minutes and see if this is the kind of movie that you're interested in. A Clockwork Orange is a 1971 science fiction drama. It is directed by the late, great Stanley Kubrick and it stars Malcolm McDowell as Alex, a teenager growing up in this dystopian world where society seems to have broken down somewhat. And basically, Alex is the leader of a gang of guys who goes out at night and does these unspeakably cruel and sadistic things. They revel in acts of ultra-violence, of rape, and just generally causing chaos wherever they go. Based on that premise alone, as well as the opening 20 minutes of the movie, I could already tell that it was going to be this weird and disturbing experience watching this film. And it kind of was. I mean, I heard about how disturbing the movie could be, but I didn't really understand understand it until I actually watched the full movie. A Clockwork Orange was nominated for four Oscars at the Academy Awards, but it has made and will make a lot of people uncomfortable. The imagery alone has made and will make a lot of people angry and disgusted. And when the movie came out in 1971, it was extremely controversial. Stanley Kubrick and his wife faced multiple death threats. The movie inspired a small number of actual crimes in real life. And eventually it had to be pulled from circulation in the UK. So we established that the film has a few unsavory elements and when we meet the main character at the start of the film, he is essentially a villain. So I was surprised at how completely enthralled I was at the end of the movie. I think A Clockwork Orange is one of those very rare films that comes out and comes close to being its own type of demented masterpiece. Will I watch the movie ever again? Probably not. But the surreal visual style, the social commentary it makes on society and mental health, as well as the very interesting arc of the main character Alex. They all really won me over in the end and I kinda love this movie. Getting into the details here, the acting in this movie isn't something that the average modern day movie has. Pretty much all the characters in this film give this very over the top performance, very exaggerated ones and this is by design for sure. And at the heart of this is our protagonist played by Malcolm McDowell. He was brilliant in this role and his range is so wide. Pretty much every emotion under the sun he shows, whether it's glee or fear or defiance or grief or torture, he does it all. And I'm pretty surprised that he didn't get an Oscar nomination for this. And maybe it's the fact that people didn't understand what he was saying because in this movie, the main character uses this very unusual language, which is a mix between English and Russian slang. Come and get one in the yarbles! So this was super interesting and I kind of think that it added a bit of edge to his character and apparently it's from the source material as well so I think that's cool. Cinematography is great, I really enjoy the use of wide shots in the film and it's made better by the blocking of the scenes as well as the very surreal colorful looking backgrounds. It sort of reminded me of Wes Anderson movies and I'm kind of thinking if Wes Anderson was partly inspired by this film. The score and soundtrack is really good as well, very creepy use of classical music and I like the variation of the score from the first half of the movie compared to the the second half of the movie and it sort of got me feeling that the music was sort of evolving along with the main character so I, I really like that. Let's talk about the social commentary here, what the movie has to say. Now I've only seen the movie once but to me a clear theme is the human condition and the idea that a person's environment has a huge impact on their behaviors, their actions and their perceptions. I mean you could say that our protagonist is a messed up person but he's grown up in a messed up world and he's been conditioned by that world to be the way that he is. Now this branches off into a whole nother conversation about free will, whether it exists and the morality of giving people choice. This in turn leads to another discussion about how to govern people and the idea of totalitarianism and how people in vulnerable positions are used for political gains. But it's the psychological aspects of the film that really interested me the most. I was quite impressed at how the the movie as a whole actually resembled a conditioning exercise. I mean, think about it. We're introduced to this main character who does unspeakable things and the movie makes us sympathize, maybe even empathize with this character by the end of the two hour plus runtime. It was pretty mind blowing, I gotta say. And it really makes you think about the world we live in today, how our behaviors, our ideologies, they are all a product of our environment. And as we grow up, we are taught that certain things are right and others are wrong and we just believe 
that to be true. Now we can really go deep down the rabbit hole on this discussion. So I'm going to leave you with that and move on for now. Now I do have mixed feelings about how far they went of certain scenes. But to be honest, my only real flaw with the film is that the audio is a bit unclear, even though I read that the filmmakers pioneered this new radio mic technology from Dolby with noise reduction that was supposed to improve the quality of the movie. But I didn't really hear any of that. But oh well, if you have the stomach for certain disturbing scenes and you have an open mind to this movie as a message of relevance, then I think you will enjoy this movie and you should probably check it out. It's easy for me to understand why some people hate this movie to the core, but others think it is a masterpiece. This movie made me reflect on myself, on the people around me, as well as society. And it's rare for a movie to provoke thought in that manner and to do it in such a profound and shocking way. Stanley Kubrick is definitely one of the boldest directors in Hollywood history. He chose to go where few mainstream movies have ever gone before. And 50 years, almost 50 years after the release of A Clockwork Orange, the message he sent with that movie is still incredibly powerful. And that is why I am going to give A Clockwork Orange at 8.5 out of 10. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe below and share it on all your social media platforms. I really appreciate that. What is the most disturbing movie you have seen? Tell me in the comments below. I'd really like to know. I'll be back next time with another movie review for you guys. So until next time, have a great week ahead. Maximum hype and peace out.